so well, I, I, I switched out to the, the, the new Shrekton driver this year. Um, I've been using the Shrekton driver since 2019. So this is my third different model of it. So I feel like every year they keep getting better. The two fairway woods I've had, I've had for four or five years at this stage. Um, so I don't like changing my equipment uh, too much. Um, my irons, I put them in at the end of last year. It's just a new model iron that Strixon have come out with. I think they're they're pretty similar to last year's. If and they're probably feeling a little bit more solid. Yeah, like I said, I, I don't like changing my equipment too much. So when I find something I like, I like to keep it. What happens when one of the guys comes up with a new equipment and he wants to buy a new driver the hand? What happens then? Do you give it a go? So I, if it's a new, if Strixon come out with a new product, I'll do my absolute best to get it in the bag and I'm generally pretty good at it and they know that so there hasn't been a time since I've started using the tricks on driver that I've struggled to get in the bag so hopefully they can keep coming out with good drivers and I keep using them. What about your wedge line up? Obviously. I, wedge line up. I, I just carry I carry three a pitch wedge but that's part of the set but I, I carry a gap wedge it's a 50 degree bent 51 and I've got a 58 degree uh, full face uh, Cleveland wedge so it's um, there's a big gap there but I I tried putting in a, a sand wedge like a 55 or 56 degree and it, uh, I find it takes away the feel from for me a little bit and I, I end up hitting every shot full out whereas when I've got that gap I can kind of play around with it a little bit more and, and be creative and that's, that's how I like it. And do, do you tweak with the, the lineup as a whole too much on a, on a week like this? Never, no. Uh, mm -hmm. This is my, this has been my, this has been my setup for a few years now. I had a two iron, uh, I would have had a two iron in the bag in Port Rush. But to be honest, the new long irons, the three iron is, is as good as a two iron and you know, I, I can hit that low and it goes pretty good. So there's no there's no point having a two iron that goes five or ten yards further. You just you know, I've got a five wood and a three wood and what's your longest iron is a, a three iron. Yeah. Is that quite rare these days to play as many players hitting three iron? I would say yeah. With the way they build clubs now they're designed to hit in the air, like that three iron I can hit really in the air, but I can also hit it really low as well and hit it. Like a stinger shot with it, it goes pretty good in the wind. So, um, so that yeah. bag line up there, it be the exact same every thing. week. Yeah, I, I don't know when you're playing in America, Nick. Well, I, I played in America two weeks ago, and that, that's what it is. So yeah. And what's it like being in Florida? I remember speaking to you a couple of years ago. Yeah, I like it. Um, it's great. Look, it's a great way of life down there. To be honest, I feel like it, it's helped improve my game. I spend a lot of time with world class players down there playing golf and. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's 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 a great great place to practice. You know, I I think I love Ireland, and I love being there, and I'd love to live there. But I just can't get done in Ireland what I can get done in Florida. So I I hadn't been home since Christmas. I got back last week for the first time. So yeah, I don't get I don't get home as much as I would like. Sure, well, there's going to be a lot of demands on your time. Now you're back in the UK this week. Thanks for speaking to me. No problem. Thanks for having me.